Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners here today and we're on to number 16 of the Tuesday tutorials and we're going to have a look at parent.default which is something that comes up all the time if you're doing forms and it can be a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do is we are going to go over to um, a list that I prepared earlier, it's all about accident reporting and so on and what we're going to do is we're going to just build ourselves a quick three screen app so this is just the out of the box app so if I press the go button on this off it will go and I'll call it parent parent default it is parent dot default in reality um, okay let's call it parent default too because I was in the middle of preparing another one so uh, I'll go create on that off it goes move on to this I think it'll give me a funny screen so I'm just gonna hit the refresh on that because what I want to do is show you the um the list itself so let's see if this is having a bit of a so we're having a bit of a paddy and a parade so i'm just going to give that a bit of a pause so we're on the list here uh, what i want to do is just jump on to the list settings here and just show you a couple of things so yeah we can see whether or not things are required or not but the important thing is just to jump onto this uh, museum level and just illustrate to you that on this particular one we have a default value of three um, and then if we come off that and we go on to something like the injured party what we'll find is that that doesn't have a default so the trick is then to just jump onto this app here which hopefully it's actually uh, gone on done for us which is brilliant um, so what I have here is I've got some items here but I think the trick is for me to actually um, the trick is for me to actually build a line for us so I'm just going to grab this and I need to just do control C control V um, and oh that's actually a bit odd so, so for some reason I, I uh, created an item with a, a name of the injured party being reading room which is a bit strange okay so what I wanted to do is just show you that uh, I can go to the play mode if I hit the plus button then I can get the put injured party is Bob uh, a Bob a B C D but what we can see is the museum level has come in and the reason for that is because it's got this idea of parent dot default now let's just hold on to that thought uh, because we know that this is going to come in as parent dot default but what I'm going to do is I'm actually change it and let's just put it as five um, I'm not really concerned that any of these other bits so I'm just going to put in slip and severity of two something like that um, because otherwise it won't submit and I am just going to hit the OK button so if it's gone and it's gone and done that for us there's our item there which is Bob A B C D um, but if we actually jump into the item um, in fact that is not quite what I want to do um, I am just going to go to instead of doing that um, yeah I will do that actually I'll just jump through there and if you go on to the edit item then you are actually editing that item and what you can see is that this time around you're on exactly the same screen as before but even though the default is parent dot default it's coming up as um, as a five not a three and so the idea is that um, parent dot default will give you two different results if it's if you're doing a new form parent dot default will give you the default for that field so onto this idea of the list settings and you've got the museum level um, and if it's got three it'll fire out of three <coughs> but if it's in this edit mode what it, the parent dot default will deliver you the current value for that field so in this case if you were actually looking on the list you'd be looking at just going to jump on there and no doubt I'll struggle to find it but it's Bob ABCD um, and we can actually see that this is the current value for that field so it's it is quite important to know this um, because there are different techniques that you can use to to leverage <coughs> leverage that sort of behavior so um, but at the moment I'm just gonna leave it at that this is a confusing point um, but but that's all parent uh, dot default does you'll just have to make a distinction between whether or not you're in a new form mode 
or an edit form mode because you'll get different results based on that. So hopefully that's explained that point to you and you can use it in your apps.